Hi, this is Dr. Krauss, and I'm recording a series of videos to promote my integrated mechatronic systems using Raspberry Pi summer class. Uh, it will be ME492, ME592, and ECE492 um, cross-listed. And in this video, I want to present um, a recent project of mine involving um, Arduino plus Raspberry Pi to create a low-cost autonomous vehicle. So this is a Zumo Shield. It is a Tra a, a tank style differential drive robot. So there's a motor in each of the front wheels, and depending, you know, if you put them both forward, the thing goes forward, both backwards, the thing goes backwards. But if you different, you know, make one go forward, one go backwards, you can turn it, that sort of thing. Um, there's a little battery case in the bottom here for four AA batteries. This thing is actually an Arduino shield. Normally you think of a shield as a board that you plug into the top of the Arduino. The Arduino actually goes on this one kind of upside down from how you think of a regular shield. But just like that is how it's designed to work. And so you have Arduino doing whatever it's doing, interacting with. There's a line following sensor on the bottom of this thing. Um, and so it could do cool stuff. And you can go online and look for the, the Zumo Shield for Arduino and look at some of the videos of what it's capable of doing. Um, I was using this in a class where one, the students didn't necessarily know how to program Arduinos and I didn't have time to kind of tell them how to do that, teach them how to do that. So I wanted to create a simplified interface. And two, I didn't want them just kind of watching with their eyes and then kind of tuning. I wanted them to get data. And so streaming wireless data from the Arduino is um, somewhat complicated. So what I did was take this um, Zumo Arduino Shield robot and added a Raspberry Pi on top of it. So here you got the robot, um, here you've got the Arduino, and then this is a Raspberry Pi. It's communicating with the Arduino through a USB serial connection, and then the Raspberry Pi itself is powered from a cell phone battery charger in the front. So I've got a roughly $215 autonomous vehicle running Raspberry Pi and Arduino. So the Arduino is doing real-time control, and the Raspberry Pi is doing higher-level stuff providing a wireless interface. You can see there's a Wi-Fi dongle, USB dongle thing on the back here. And providing um, a shield. Sorry. No, the, <laughs> the Arduino has the shield. The Raspberry Pi is providing a um, web page that is written in Cherry Pi. Cherry Pi is one of the things we're going to cover in my class this summer. It is a web framework written in Python um, that allows Python and HTML code to interact with one another. And so for my class this summer, the students actually would fill out a web form that was like the, the PID gains, the KPKIKD, and they would run a test and they would see a picture of the data. It was really cool. Um, I'll, I can post that to YouTube later. Um, what I want to show in this example is that um, Raspberry Pi, using Cherry Pi, can be used to create um, web pages that look like... Um, a phone app. This is not, I'm obviously I'm not a graphic designer um, and I don't know anything about creating iOS apps. This isn't an app, it's just a web page. But if you know what you're doing, you could style to make a very nice looking web page. I've just got four buttons that allow me to control the robot, but I can steer this thing left, right, forward, backwards from my phone because the Raspberry Pi is serving a web page written in Cherry Pi that controls this robot using Python. Let me give myself a little bit more room so I don't drive this thing off the table. And so you can see I can, you know, just drive it around forward, backward, backward again, left, forward, whatever. And so Cherry Pi is providing the web interface. Arduino providing low-level control, interaction with the motor drivers, so on and so forth. And the high-level stuff is written in Python on the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi is providing this wireless interface that could also stream data back and forth, so on and so forth. Um, doing what I think is pretty cool stuff. And if you want a better-looking interface, there's actually something on the Internet called Pi UI. So it's basically a user interface for the Raspberry Pi written in Cherry Pi. And so you can go to this guy's website and he's got a video um, explaining what he does and showing a better looking, more authentic um, 
phone app looking website using some CSS and some other things. Uh, but definitely want to cover that in the class. And so like I said, Python, Cherry Pie, Raspberry Pi, all that stuff working together with the Arduino to control robots and control them wirelessly um, is one good example of what we might be doing this summer. Well, a project you could choose to work on this summer. Like I said, there will be a Cherry Pie module um, in my course. And so, um, yeah, give that some thought. I'd be glad to have you. Thanks.